Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Magma Worm Scale Sword. A curved greatsword with optimal scaling in both strength and faith, so I did try the stat allocation a few different ways to see which is the most optimal, and in my experience, getting your strength to 54 and then pouring the rest of the points into faith would net you the highest AR. Had I done that with my available damage stat points here, I'd actually have around 10 more AR, so 842 as opposed to 832 with the kind of even split I have going on here. 44 strength with 35 faith but the reason i did this is i wanted more fire damage the strength scales the physical the face scales the fire and i plan to use the fire boost physic to boost our damage output so i figured having more fire damage would be optimal but if you wanted to go the highest damage route you would just go the pure strength route with 54 strength the reason for the 54 strength by the way is that when you two hand the weapon you're actually hitting 80 strength so you're hitting one of the hard caps so that helps out with the damage scaling a lot, and then you just have the rest poured into faith. As for the choice of talisman, we're going to be using the Shard of Alexander to boost the damage of our Ash of War. We're going to be using the Claw Talisman because I do enjoy jumping attacks on curved greatswords. And then we're using the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Great Jars Arsenal for the Equip Load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset, the Light Attack Chain is very similar to all other curved greatswords. You have the Diagonal Slashes. The R2, however, is unique. It actually has the Chop Slam Down attack, so that has a follow-up as well. And you can charge both. The animation changes a little bit if you go for the fully charged version on both. If not, you don't do the Leg Raise before the Chop, you just do the little quick into the ground chop. And then you have the Jumping Light Attack, which is good on all curved greatswords. Comes up pretty quickly, has the horizontal sweep, so it's good at fighting multiple opponents. As well, you can delay the attack to the end of the jump to mix up your timing if your opponent gets too used to your regular Jumping Light Attacks. Delay it for the roll catch near the end of the jump like that. And then you have the Jumping Heavy Attack, which is pretty unique, as it is the same as the regular R2 Slam Down Chop. You can do that to mix up your timing as well. As for the one-handed light attacks, very similar to the two-handed, just the diagonal slashes. The R2 gets the horizontal slash, followed by the 360 slash. And the first one isn't unique when fully charged, it's to the same horizontal slash. But if you do the fully charged version on the second half of the R2, you do get the double slash 360 slash that some curve greatswords have. And then we have the running light and the running heavy. I myself prefer to use the running light. I prefer the animation. I find people panic roll it a little bit early to get roll caught more. And then we have the Ash of War Magma Guillotine, which is almost like the jumping heavy attack accompanied by a lava AoE with the follow-up strike if you do the secondary half of the Ash of War. So this is just the first half, full animation here. Then if you do the other follow-up, you get the secondary slash. And the AoE of the lava stays for quite some time. So you can kind of battle in that to get damage over time against your opponent if they happen to walk into it. But yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first battle, we have Ashes! Hello there, Ashes! Interesting looking fashion. So he's got a fire buff on his scythe. Alright, um, okay, he's got his flask down. We'll do our boiled crab. Alright, let's see. So, we're fighting a scythe. He seems to have a decent amount of poise because he is wearing bull goat, uh, the chest piece anyway. We took a trade. Hmm, I would say not even. He might have won out on that trade a little bit. He might go for the third hit again. That's a good way to bait a hit, to be honest. I wasn't thinking about that before. Uh, he wants to do the backstep attack, I, I believe. Let's try the R2 as a roll catch. It actually worked out pretty well. Okay, we are guard breaking him. We're going to use the Ash of War here. Oh, and he rolled into the lava. <laughs> Still burning in the lava. <laughs> nice. That actually worked out really well. So it's like kind of hard to hit with the actual chop of the Ash of War. But the lava is a nice after effect. Very fun fight, man. And we also hit the R2. Wow, pretty good roll catch as well. All right, moving on to our next opponent. We have Sir Palomitis. Hello there, man. Hey. Hey. Yo, I like the outfit using one of the colossal swords. The troll one, maybe? I always It's hard to tell the difference between some of them, in my opinion. All right. Got your crab going, nice, yeah. Physical defense, okay. And he's got... Crouch? Oh no, he did the regular R1. Let's try the follow-up, not a lot of people expect it. Okay, well, there he kind of expected it. But he did walk into our lava. <laughs> we set our little snare. Okay, didn't think the R2 did that. I'm gonna be really honest with you. <laughs> that was the longest animation I've ever seen for an R2. I went to space it, completely ran into the trade. Pretty cool. Did not expect that. R2 roll catch? Yeah, into R1. Honestly, the R2 is great. I thought it would lack range, but it's hitting roll catches pretty damn well. It's working extremely well. 
Let's try the Ash of War. Oh, <laughs> manually aimed it to go to where he was jumping. Okay, that actually has some good aim in the air. What? I haven't really tried that. So if I jump, I can kind of re-aim it towards the end of the thrust. Okay, cool. Moving on to our next battle, we have Job. Hello, Job. Fancy seeing you again. Uh, in sync wave as well. We've actually fought him a few times in the Weapon Showcase series. Faith build. Okay, still rocking the faith build. Nice. I do remember that. All right, let's go. Uh, different great sword or no? Still the still the golden order great sword, right? Oh, he's got a straight sword this time. That's a mix up. Still got his cool miracles though. Let's let's go with this. Jump into my lava pool. <laughs> I love that he just decided. No, no, it's not worth the jump. <laughs> that was funny. What? Oh, we took a trade there. Interesting. All right. Maybe he's going to do his Ash of War sometime soon. Ha! I predicted it. Still almost ran into it. That's really funny. Let's go for the R1. Is a roll catch here? And then into the R2, possibly. Okay, not enough. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to charge that so long, but... You ran by my amazing lava jump. How could you? <laughs> cool. Let's try the lava jump again. No. He's prepared. He's ready for the lava jump. Ah! I tried to punish the Ashivore, but I missed. Because I'm a failure. This is a good fight so far, though. I'm liking it, man. He's doing good mix-ups. He went for the... He tried to get the roll catch on the R1 right there, but I happened to do a roll attack. Follow-up. Oh, I didn't get the trade. Thought I was going to trade and just end the duel there, but... This is more interesting. R2 roll catch. I failed. But R1. <laughs> Very fun fight, man. I actually like that build. It's a really cool incantation build. It's got the Faith Greatsword. Pretty cool. Moving on to our next battle, we have Jack. Hello, Jack. Hey. How are you, man? Rocking the Claymore. Interesting armor set, though. I uh, got the buckler in the offhand. Claymore? Claymore duel? Oh, it kind of... <laughs> it's quick! I don't know, sometimes the running animation looks interesting with certain outfits. R2? I don't think you can parry the R2. Maybe, actually. It's really hard for me to know what you can and can't parry in this game so far. My Dark Souls 3, mi or Dark Souls 3 mindset is like <laughs> there for a lot of things. Kind of throws me off. So the jumping attacks are pretty safe, at the very least. Oh, a good R2, Jack. Very good. I was kind of expecting him to go for a backstab. I don't know why. Just seemed like he was gonna. Oh, oh, he's gonna burn that lava. <laughs> okay, good. He's not done yet. That's awesome. I thought he was gonna be finished by the lava. Whoop. We cannot get parried at the end here. Follow up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Very fun fight, Jack. Seemed like he was trying to set up the parry somehow, like rolling in for the roll in parry, but we didn't really play into it. Very fun fight though, man. Moving on to our next battle, we have Guzzle Guzzle. Hello there, man. Hey, hey. With a great shield and an axe. That's an interesting setup, honestly. Uh, no other buff? Okay. Let's try the lava. <laughs> okay, so he didn't walk into the lava. He's a smart one. Try and get a roll catch trade here? No, he didn't get it. And he went for the rolling attack. Okay, that's that's interesting. Goes for counter attacks. Gets good absorption on the shield. I got hit by a four. I mean, I did 45 damage through it, I believe. So I guess that shield has good fire absorption, I suppose. Best way to say it. The Ash of War. Almost a trade, honestly. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Guess that was a bad trade on my part. I wanted to see if I could go in with the Ash of War and get a hit. We did not. He hasn't popped my bubble tier yet. So that's that's something. I'm gonna go for the follow-up here. He's gonna go for a rolling attack, maybe? No. Okay. Maybe a... Yeah, a counter attack. Okay. We're getting good chip damage here, though. He didn't fall for the roll catch. That's good, that's good. Oh, we got him with the roll catch. Very good duel, though. Very fun. 
and unique. I can't believe he just sat there doing the Ash of War like a third time, I think. Or he did the full uh, Ash of War the second time when I traded into it. Very fun, though. Moving on to our next battle, we have Calixus. Hello there. Hey! Using the God Slayer Greatsword. I like it. Faith build. Using that body buff and then the flask. Nice. And you have a shield. Okay, so you're going to one-hand it. That's interesting. You don't see that too often. Usually the two-handed moveset is definitely the go-to. They always have the rock throws, though. That's like a good opening to chip down. I can see that's pretty common. It's kind of a way to aggress without aggressing. Try to get the roll catch there. We missed out. Whoop. The running attack. Okay. Into the thrust. I think he panic rolled that. Got hit by the roll catch. Unfortunate. Um, looking to throw the rocks again, I believe. He's got the talisman out. I don't know what other talismans he's rocking. Backstab? We get a backstab on the missed jumping attack. Let's see if the R2 is a decent roll catch. Hmm, hard to say. I could have timed it badly. Because I don't quite know the timing on like the, the get up animation. From the backstabs yet. Rolling attack? Yeah. Let's try the Ash of War. <laughs> oh, we actually hit it on a jump attack. That's funny. Very fun duel, Calixus. I like the armor setup as well. Alright, moving on to our final duel. We have Goblin Slayer. Oh, cosplay build. Alright, alright. I like it. Got the roar buff. Got the, the shield. And the straight sword. Roll catch with the R2. No, he did not get roll caught. Let's try another R2. A really long one. Oh, and the per Oh, that's cool. It's a nice little addition. I like it. Jump into my lava. It's safe in here, I promise. I missed. Oh, well, thank god. That was going to be a very damaging, fully charged heavy. Had I not hit with the tip of the sword. Lava! <laughs> Honestly, that Ash of War is just so fun. And very fun fight, Goblin Slayer. I enjoyed the battle. Alright, now let's just see how this performs in Invasions. Alright, jumping into our first invasion, we are in Castle Soul, and we've invaded Swantus Ultimus, and they look like they're by the Grace Point. Hello there! How are you guys? Hello! It is a wizard and a blasphemous blade user. That's scary. It is indeed scary. Will that go through this? No. Nice, I have cover. Useful. Very useful. Start with the running attack. The wizard's out of juice. Go for him now. <laughs> oh, he knocked him out of the Ash of War. I wasn't sure if I could. Throw the urn. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, we can see what the wizard's specialty is. Stars of Ruin. <laughs> you aimed it the wrong way, silly. Stop it. That's not all. What are you doing? <laughs> well, he was committed to Stars of Ruin. Just, just clicking L1. All right, moving into our second invasion. That first one was very quick, so I decided to do another invasion in Castle Soul. And we got one right away. It's actually active today. Oh, hello there. And we've got groups. I like it. Um, What's the fastest way for me to get there? This way? Hello there. Hello. I see your rivers of blood. And it's being dual wielded. All right, Valdia. And it's dragon breathing. And I still got hit by that. That's so depressing. <laughs> okay, I got a second then. Oh, we have the faith for this. Nice. I don't need to swap on the ring. Useful. A little bit of regen here. Where'd they go? The rot breath. My man was ready to cast that multiple times. One of these, huh? One of these. And then the Rivers of Blood comes out to play. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh, I thought that might have went invisible just because of the staircase, but no, I think, I think we're good. What? What was that locked onto? This stair is my ally, actually. It's working pretty well. <laughs> oh my god. 
Why would you aim it away? What what was the point in aiming that away? I mean, you could have at least tried to hit me after you casted it, right? Like, <laughs> I got. It. I'm wondering when they'll like rest with their swords. This is like more of a test. How long do you think they'll go off with their ashes of war before they decide? Maybe we should get in there with the sword. Okay, this this guy is about at that limit. He wants to use his weapon now. <laughs> this guy's just still got long range specialty. That's a fake. <laughs> uh, you gotta love the specialty. Like when you pay attention to one, that's when one will attack. Until then, they're not gonna do much. Uh, which is kind of chill, because like they're letting you waste FP. Which is fine. <laughs> uh, it's all good. Get a heal in there. I'll use a heal. Wasn't so bad. What's with the crouch though? Fireball Jutsu. There comes the summon. <laughs> you just gotta get them a little angry to where they'll actually aggress you, you know, and then and then you kind of have a good time. That's gotta probably get roll caught to death. Oh, almost. Hilda, heal. We go again, Hilda. Heal. You're gonna die. Why oh, heal? Okay, well. Well, fun fight, boys. Alright, jumping into our last invasion. We're back at Castle Soul again. I tried invading Halig Tree and Mogwin area. I couldn't get anything, came here, got one instantly. So it's just, it's just very busy at Castle Soul today. Alrighty, we got a group here. Hello there, Faith Dex, how are you? Blasphemous Blade, and then Dual Sapukus. That's scary. <laughs> We're gonna dodge that. Dual Sapuku Katanas. That can stun lock quite heftily. Where'd he go? Oh, he went back over there. Okay. What the? How, how did he get there so quickly? <laughs> no, it's okay if you guys 2v1. That's fine. What? I don't... I, that's such a that's such a weird decision. Just was like, nah. <laughs> Not today. I'm watching him. I don't trust that man. Jumping in with the lava. <laughs> A bad trade. <laughs> oh, we're having a heal duel? You know what? That sounds kind of interesting. Let's do it. We got more flasks, so I'm going to have to outplay you. But we can do that. <laughs> Get some roll catches in there. R2. Uh, I, maybe I have to hold it longer, or maybe it doesn't have the range. That's probably it, to be honest. I really don't trust you bringing me near your summon. <laughs> I don't trust it. <laughs> this is one of those interesting duel decisions, huh? Oh, he missed the roll catch. <laughs> Man, I don't know. He's spookooing up there. He ain't spookooing for no reason. I see the plan, Faith Dex. Oh, Meladia. Well, that, that seems rough to use. Wow, how long is he stuck there? <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen someone use that in PvP. <laughs> That's... That's rough. You're stuck there a long time. <laughs> yeah, I can backstab that. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Well, that was a really interesting duel. Very fun fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about the duel, Sukuku. I know, I know, I know. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilize throughout the showcase, and of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I really do appreciate it. It helps me plan ahead for the videos, and I love reading what you guys would like to see in the series. But yeah, until the next video, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>